with the 12th episode of Egypt, right? I think so. So, in this episode, in this video, we are going to discuss and talk and learn about center of curvature. Radius of curvature. Principal axis. Pole. Focus. Focal length. Lens. Lenses. Types of lenses and about object and images and about mirrors types of mirrors. So again, a lot after a long while we are going to discuss a lot of topics, a lot many topics today, right? So, with no further delay, let's get into the interesting video. These topics are really interesting, okay? Okay. So, let's start. What is center of curvature? Firstly, let's draw a mirror. First, let's draw, uh, let's write short forms for these. Center of curvature is C. Center of curvature is denoted by C. Radius of curvature is denoted by R. So C, R, principal axis. We don't have any short forms for this. And next, pole is denoted by P. Focus is denoted by capital F. And focal length is of small f. Lenses. Types of types of lenses about object and images. Let's draw somewhat neatly. 
these dotted lines are normals what can you see here all the normals see all the normals are converging towards one point right all the normals are converging towards one point and this point is called center of curvature center of curvature this point is called as center of curvature okay so uh, for this curve this is the center and the distance between center of curvature and pole actually the center of curvature should be actually here at this right here the center of curvature always on be uh, will be the on will be on the principal axis so the distance between center of curvature and pole is called as uh, radius of curvature let's say this is center of curvature and this is the pole the distance between this is radius of curvature which is denoted by capital r okay so then, okay this is center of curvature then if you see the distance between pole and focus and the distance between focus and center of curvature is equal yes so the distance between this focus and pole is called focal length Let's take Let's take this is focus and this is pole the distance between focal and focal point and pole is focal length the length between focus and pole is focal length yes and we have one more formula r is equals to 2f means radius of curvature is double of f this is one f and this is one more f so f plus f is r 2f is equals to r or r is equals to 2f the distance of radius of curvature is double of the focal length okay so this is about uh, mirrors now let's understand the difference between convex mirror and concave mirror okay let's observe the difference between convex mirror and concave mirror and we have two types of images they are real images and virtual images we, are, we will also study about those okay so uh, sometimes mirror will be like this sometimes mirror will be like this right so the mirror which will bulge outside the mirror which bulges outside is convex mirror and the mirror which bulges inside is concave mirror this is convex this is concave because see uh, for example let's take this one like this a straight line so see this one it bulges outside bulges outside so it is convex if you see this one it is bulges inside so it is concave mirror convex mirror and concave mirror to understand uh, to understand is simply convex mirror is easy because it is already in c shape c shape so convex is easy convex or convex is easy because it has a uh, in the in both these mirrors con is a uh, common so remove that vex and k okay vex and k in this vex has three letters yes vex has three letters which is easy so it is easy so you have to remember like this it is easy to draw just to see draw c it is easy vex is easy so it is convex right so just to draw a c it is easy it is vex easy is easy one is vex because it has only three letters vex means it is convex mirror see it is inverted c yes it has inverted c right so yes it has inverted c so it is somewhat difficult and k it has four letters so it is somewhat difficult so it is concave that's it how simple it is right So you have to remember in this way. This is convex mirror and this is concave mirror. Okay, convex mirror bulges outside, concave mirror bulges inside. Okay, this is about mirrors. 
And now let's learn about lenses. Now let's learn about lenses. What is a lens? What what do you mean by lens? If you know the answer, just put it in the comment section. A lens is any transparent material that refracts a beam of light. A lens is any transparent material that refracts a beam of light. Let's take this lens. It refracts like this, right? It, ref it is refracting the beam of light. Let's take this lens. It is It is refracting the light. Okay. So any transparent material which refracts the light, which refracts the beam of light is called lens. And we have two types of two main types of lenses. We have two main types of lenses. What are they? Converging lenses. Converging lens and diverging lens. What do you mean by converging lens? And what do you mean by diverging lens? Converging lens is any lens that converges the beam of light. What is convergence? Convergence, convergence is a nature to, uh, to focus a beam of light at one point. Okay, for example, let's take a biconvex lens. This is a biconvex lens, right? This is a biconvex lens. So, it, it is what, uh, which type of mirror is it? Which type of lens is it? Converging or diverging? It is converging lens because it is refracting the beam of light and it is also converging it. These all refracted rays are meeting at one point. Yes, meeting at one point. Uh, if, if the lens, uh, at which lens, the all the refracted rays, all the refracted beams of light meet at one point and that type of lens is called convergence, converging lens. For example, biconvex lens, plano convex, concave convex. These type of lens is called are called these type of lenses are called converging lenses. Then what are diverging lenses? Let's take uh, plano concave, plano concave. It diverges. It's, they will not meet. They will not meet. Okay. They will disperse. They will disperse in their way. They will not meet at any point. They will just disperse. Uh, the lens, the type of lens in which the beams of light will uh, disperse or diverse. It's called, called divergent, diverging lens. If the lens, if the beam of light through a lens converges, meet all meet at one point, it is converging lens. If the lens whose beam of light, whose passing of whose passage of beam of light will disperse in uh, various ways it is diverging lens and in converging and diverging lens we have three types each ok let's learn about them let's learn about this and uh, we, have, we have studied about convex mirror and concave mirror right convex mirror is diverging concave mirror is converging ok if you pass a beam of light through concave mirror they will disperse Okay, uh, they will disperse. If you pass a beam of light through convex mirror, they will meet at one point. They will meet at one point. Okay, so convex lens is di uh, converging and concave lens is diverging. Okay, so let's see here. In converging lens, we have three types. Biconvex. Plano convex and concavo convex and also in 
and divergent lines also will have three types. They are biconcave, plano concave, and convexo concave. Okay, biconvex lens, plano convex lens, concave convex lens, biconcave lens, plano concave lens, and convex or concave lens. These are the six type of lenses. Okay, six sub type of lenses. Actually, there are two main types. They are converging lens and diverging lens. In converging lens, we have three types, and also in diverging lens, we have three types. Okay, so let's study about the structure of these six lenses. Convergence 
the dispersing of all the rest uh, in various ways is called divergence. That's it. It's very simple actually, right? So we have completed, uh, completed convergence, divergence, uh, lenses, C, R, lens axis, P, F, F lenses, types of lenses. Now we'll learn about object and images. We'll learn the position, placement, and uh, nature of the image. Placement of object, positioning of image, and the nature of image. And two types of images. Okay. And two types of images. What is it? There are two types of images. Real image and virtual image. Real images are always inverted. Okay. If you see a spoon, uh, take a spoon. Okay. Take a spoon. If you see the back side. Okay. See back side and see your face. Your face will be inverted. In the same way, see the front where you uh, eat. Okay, see the front of the spoon. It is erect. Okay, the back of the spoon is real image which is erect, which is uh, straight and uh, easy. That is virtual image. Okay, so why it, why is it found in two types of images, real and virtual? See, if you see the, if you see the back of spoon. Okay, if you see the back of spoon, it is bulged outside. Yes, it is bulged outside. If it is bulged outside, then what it is? Which type of uh, mirror it is? Which type of lens is it? It is convex, right? See, if it, if it bulges outside, it is type of a convex mirror, right? It's, it is a convex mirror. So, convex mirror always forms real image, okay? Convex mirror always forms real inverted images. Concave mirror forms virtual, real, uh, virtual erect images. If it is straight, it is erect. If it is reverse, it is inverted. Okay. Uh, what is enlarged? Enlarged means if uh, the size of the image increases, then it is enlarged. If you see in hotels, uh, you will be like different. If you see different types of mirrors, will be different. If you are uh, uh, fit, you will be seeing you are like very fat. If uh, if you are very fat, you will be uh, seen. You will seem. You will be seen like uh, fit. So those type of mirrors, they are they are they are enlarged images, right? They are enlarged images. So let's type of uh, let's learn about the object and images. If you place an object between Pole and focal point. Okay. Between P and F. Okay. Between P and F. Then where will the image be formed? Behind the pole. You should place an object between the mirror or between the pole and focal point. Then the image will be formed behind the mirror or behind the pole. And this image will be enlarged, erect, and this image is virtual. Okay, this image is virtual. And if you place an object on the focal point, okay, you know what is focal point, right? Just now have studied. If you place an object on that focal point, the image will be formed at infinity. At Infinity. This image will be found at infinity. Okay. So this image, we don't know the nature of the image. And next, if you place an object between C1 and F, where will the image be formed? Can you guess? Okay. So image will be formed uh, beyond C2. Beyond C2. Okay. Or beyond the center of curvature, if you place an object, if you place an object between center of curvature and focal point, the image will be formed beyond the center of curvature. Okay, and this image is enlarged, inverted, and real. Okay, this is enlarged, and this is inverted, which is if it is reversed, and it is a real image. Okay. You know, if it is inverted, it is real image. 
Okay. And next, if you place an object on this C, if you place an object on the center of curvature, on the center of curvature, it will be the image will be formed at the center of curvature. Okay. Every mirror has two radii of curvature, two centers of curvature. Okay, two centers of curvature and two radii of curvature. This side and this side. Okay. So, if you place an object on the uh, center of curvature on this side, then the image will be formed at center of curvature of this side. Okay. And this is same size. Uh, okay, this image is of same size as of object. Okay, same size, uh, inverted and real. Next, if you place an object beyond, beyond the center of curvature, then the image is formed between a focal point and center of curvature. And this image is this image is diminished, inverted, real. Okay. And last and final, the real image. And the last and final is, if you place an object at infinity, if you place an object at infinity, the image will be formed on the focal point and this image is point. This is, it will be at point and there is no, we don't know the uh, enlarged or erected but this image is real. Okay. So, so this is about positioning, placement, uh, placement of object, positioning of image and the nature of image. So this is the information. So I think I hope you understand this video clearly. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button. And if you want more interesting, informative, knowledgeable videos, just hit the subscribe button. It will be in red color. And if you want to see my videos regularly, just press the bell icon. And keep it in all such that you can get all the notifications of my videos. So until then, see you soon in my future latest upcoming videos. Until then, signing off your logical brilliance. Take care.